Hi, I am Jerome from Fastlane. Welcome to this series on the Cisco Unify Wireless Networking Solution. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about wireless QoS between the access points and the controllers. There are two problems that we want to address in this configuration. The first one is mapping, that is to say, what wireless QoS value do you translate into what wired QoS value? The second one is max value. In other words, if a wireless client or a wired client asks for a QoS value of 5, do you always give that value or can you cap that value? So the first issue is about mapping. And it's a little bit of a complex issue because of um, two different policies. If you look at this table here, we have the 802.1p values that you see in the middle column. So as you know, they are going from 0 to 7, which gives you 8 values. They translate into the 802.11e values, and basically you have pretty much the same um, 8 values. But I would say that we have somehow a problem. The problem is that the IEEE, who designed the 802.1p protocol as well as the 802.11e protocol, has a different way of seeing things from the IETF and Cisco. The IEEE says we have eight values, seven is the highest value, that's the highest priority level you can set. Because this one is um, the highest value, that's something you usually do not use in your network. You keep that value for emergencies. So the first value you're going to use really for your traffic is going to be the value below, that is to say 6. And they say because of that, because the voice traffic is the most critical traffic you may have, you're going to tag voice with a value of 6. Okay, that's fair and well, but the IETF and Cisco do not share this point of view. They say, yes, we agree to say that 7 is the highest value and because it's the highest value it's the emergency value you never use it but the most critical traffic you have is not voice before voice you have all the rest like routing updates like LWAP slash CAPWAP control messages etc without those packets there is no voice traffic because there is no network so before talking about client data traffic for which voice is one type, you first have to address network communication control messages. So Cisco and the IETF say that 6, the first value you really use, should be kept for this type of traffic, LWAP, CAPWAP, routing updates, etc. Therefore, the first value you're really going to use for your traffic, and that's going to be for voice, is going to be the value below, that is to say 5. In other words, the IEEE in the 802.1p and the uh, 802.11e protocol assume that voice is going to be tagged 6 whereas the ITF and Cisco assume that voice is going to be tagged 5. Is that a big deal? Well, not really as long as you know and as long as you define a border from where you translate from one to the other. And that's something you can see in your controller. When you get to your controller and you go to wireless, QoS, profiles, and you edit platinum. If you choose to translate the 802.11e platinum Q, which is voice, uh, that's Q number 6, into an 802.1p tag, you see that the translation here is going to be 6 naturally. And the reason why is because the IEEE states that you know, voice is 6. But you are on the Cisco controller and a Cisco network. And something that you have to keep in mind is that this value is not the value you are going to get. Because the controller and the access point do an automatic translation from the IEEE value into the Cisco AVID slash IETF value. This means that when you see 6 here, actually what you are going to get is 5. And that's tricky because it's not written anywhere on this page, right? There is no little star saying, hey, by the way, you show 6 here, but you're not going to get 6, you're going to get 5. It doesn't show anywhere, but that's the way it is. So if you, if you sniff any packet between the access point and the controller, you'll see that 6 here is not what you get. You get 5. And that's key because if you set 5 here to comply to Cisco ITF AVID um, mapping, actually what you're going to get is 4. So you never want to do that, you want to keep the value as it is because that's what you're going to get. This is what this table is trying to say as well, by the way, it's taken from a Cisco website, I'm going to show you in a minute which page. Um, it says that whenever 
you get this Q here, which is the I2211 EQ, which is supposed to translate into the Q number 6 in 1P. The um, AVID mechanism makes that automatically you translate into 5 and, of course, um, a DSCP EF. This is taken from that paper, um, which may be a good reference uh, for you to have a look at what's going on. The only issue with this paper is that it's a bit obscure. If you don't understand already what's going on when you read this paper, I'm not really sure you get a lot of enlightenment about what's really going on. So um, understanding it uh, first and then reading the paper makes a lot of sense because it restates something that you already understood. But if you count on this paper to understand, um, it may be a little bit challenging. So you see that that table is, uh, is here. It's the same. It uh, says the same. Um, this is the case on the controller. On the autonomous access points, the situation is a bit different. It doesn't do the mapping automatically. If you want to do the mapping, you have to go to your access points, uh, QoS in services, and you have to say Avid Priority Mapping automatically translate from 5 to 6 and vice versa. If you don't check that box here, um, which is not checked by default, it doesn't translate, which means that something received from the voice queue in the wireless is going to be translated into a total one p tag 6 on the wired. And that's going to be a, a discrepancy with the rest of your configuration in a Cisco network. So at some point, you'll need to translate uh, this value 6 into 5. Whereas again, on the controller, this is done automatically. So whenever you receive a voice packet from a vo wireless client, um, this voice queue is translated between the access point and the controller into 5 automatically even though you sit 6 here. So I'll leave the default. You leave the default for uh, Platinum. You would leave also the default for Video. Video is supposed to be 4. Uh, the default is 5 and whenever you see 5 here you're going to be translated automatically into the AVID mechanism that is to say 4. So even though you see 5 here you'll get 4. Okay that's the first issue that is to say mapping. Second issue is max value and that's addressed by this slide here. The game is to say when you receive a packet uh, on the wireless network or on the wire network and you have to translate this packet between the controller and the access point and back, what value are going to tag this packet with depending on what value you receive from the client. And that's what we'll be looking at in the next part of this video.